Welcome to a quick Blender tutorial on how to make venom-like gooey tendrils that can grow over any object really. So let's add our object that we want to grow over. Could be a monkey, could be anything. And we will subdivide that and then smooth it. Now let's save our Blender file call it something descriptive like Venom Tendrils version 1 I always version can save you time and emotional turmoil now we're going to place our cursor somewhere at the bottom of the monkey with the cursor tool and you might have guessed that we're gonna use the ivy generator if you don't have that enabled just go into add-ons and search ivy click the checkbox and then you can start making ivy except we want tendrils you click add new ivy and it'll make this there's leaves don't want those all we want are these curves that it generates which are still editable in the curve panel so if you go into geometry start and end mapping and play with this end slider they're growing just like what we want except some of these are just appearing out of nowhere which is a problem for me for that animated short so what you could do is change the branching probability to one that way all the branches happen immediately let's make this ivy a little bit bigger so it'll cover more of the monkey three meters should work now there's a lot of there's a lot of branches now they're everywhere I want less and I've discovered that if you change the ivy size to a larger value like double it will make less branches now they're not really sticking to the surface like you would expect a alien goo to do so what you can do is change the adhesion weight to 0.25 and that'll keep the ivy a lot closer to the surface of the object to get these curves to stick to the object perfectly you can add a shrink wrap modifier select the monkey and then apply that modifier because otherwise it'll mess up the geometry of the curves now they stick to it great and the next thing we want to do is map these curves so that the start is really thick and the end is really thin so it looks like goo is there's a source here where goo is traveling along on the surface and building up over time so let's add a curve bezier tab into edit mode and we want to move this over so that this first point is aligned with the origin point of the object so point number one will be the ends of the curves and point number two will be the start and the farther away this curve gets in the y-axis from the origin point the thicker they will be so just select the curves taper object select the taper object and there you have it it's pretty thick so select the entire object and scale along the y-axis so you get something more reasonable looks good now let's play with this end factor and it doesn't look like it's working quite right these tips aren't small enough so you just click map taper and that will map the effect of the taper object to the beveled part of the curve and that gives you the effect we're looking for now if you go to frame one let's animate this set a keyframe at zero go to frame 90 set the end to one set another keyframe and then let's change our end time to 100 and let's play this back 
Add a dark shiny material for a more venom like effect and you're pretty much set. I also applied a material with some noise and some random bumpiness to give it a more fluid look but that is for another tutorial for another day.